It's uh, Tuesday, the 27th of July, 2021, and I'm on my way to Street Bike in Hal's Owen to, uh, to pick up a uh, Yamaha Tracer 9 GT, brand new one. Um, been thinking about it for a while, and uh, with last year, and uh, well, the majority of this year so far as well. Uh, not getting a proper chance to use the bikes as I'd uh, as I'd have liked to. Um, I'm dropping down to one bike. So the uh, the Thruxton R went in January, and I've traded in this and the Boba Black um, today. And Boba Black had dropped up uh, down the street by a couple of weeks ago, and uh, today is the uh, is the Explorer. And I'm going to really really miss this bike. Um, I'm struggling to, to cope with the weight of it to be honest it's a, it's a cumbersome bike when it's not moving and you'll see from my previous videos whenever I've talked about it I say how fantastic it is when it's rolling uh, and I've nicknamed it the flying armchair but when, it's, uh, when you're trying to manoeuvre it around it's uh, for your little guy like me because I'm only 5 foot 7 uh, it is a, uh, a cumbersome bike and uh, as I say, I'm going to miss this one, but I think the uh, the Tracer 9 GT is going to more than compensate for it. It's going to be lighter, a bit smaller, more agile. Well, this is I, I don't I can't say agile because this is very very agile when you're riding it. And uh, as I say, so uh, mixed emotions with this one today. Sad to see this one going. Not so much so with the Bob of Black because it let me down. Um, uh, developed a fault oil leaking into the stator it was uh, repaired under warranty by Triumph but uh, sort of lost faith in it then when that happened and I got sort of st stranded a million miles away from home but about two miles away so after that I thought you know I like to know I can rely on my bikes and, uh, and I lost a bit of confidence in it because of that so yeah so uh, as I say um, I'm gonna miss this one I've loved owning it and I uh, hope it gives somebody else the pleasure it's given me it is a great great bike but it's just too heavy it's just way too heavy and uh, I think I've put around 5,000 miles on it I think if I recall rightly I bought it in 2018 and it was three years old then it's still limited edition so at least I can say I owned it I've got plenty of photographs and videos of it to look back on and uh, it's been a great bike been a great great bike so I've taken the day off today to uh, to do the changeover and uh, yeah, I'm looking really looking forward to the Tracer 9. Um, some, it, uh, all the read-ups that I've done on it and uh, the videos that I've watched, uh, it looks like it is a bit of a bit of a special bit of kit. So I'm looking forward to that immensely. I had an MT09, Yamaha MT09, 2015, bought it brand new from Street Bike as well. Kept it for three years. Again, loved it, loved it. Uh, but then I traded it in for this because uh, we started to do a bit more touring and it wasn't really a, a bike suitable for touring and uh, I think the uh, the Tracer 9 is going to uh, more than fulfil that so you're going to get the fun that you had with the uh, the MT-09 plus the um, um, sort of user friendliness of, uh, of it being a, a, a sports tourer so uh, yeah, can't wait. Um, we've booked a little holiday, only only four days, um, Thursday to Sunday. We're going back up to uh, 
to South West Scotland and New Galloway and we're going up there the end of uh, end of August um, that's really going to be great got to have some, uh, some uh, bed and breakfast between Crocketsford and Dunfries uh, 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 very reasonably priced as well considering and we're going to go and, re uh, and taking Kevin L and Paul Bry's been before and uh, we're going to go and revisit all the brilliant places we went and saw a couple of years ago and uh, it's a stunning place uh, and that's going to uh, hopefully scratch the little itch this year about not being able to do any touring and then next year if we can get some bloody normality back uh, we can think about some more serious tours and uh, can't wait for that can't wait for that so yeah so that's the scores on the doors as to where I'm going on this uh, on the uh, Tiger Explorer this morning taking him to drop him off to pick up a uh, a new bike so uh, back shortly when I'll uh, and I'll have the uh, the Tracer 9 so here he is the Yamaha Tracer 9 GT let's get it home unfortunately I've got to take him home in the bloody wet. Yeah, could have done without this bloody lousy weather today. But hey ho, these things are sent to try us. So here we have it, the brand new Yamaha Tracer 9 GT. Let's get him home. A little bit uh, higher than I expected. I am on tiptoes, but then that's nothing unusual for me, to be honest. So there we go, this is its first ride from um, uh, street bike to home, a little bit wet, I was uh, hoping the rain was going to hold off at least until I got him home, but uh, not to be unfortunately, so uh, yeah, first impressions, I like it a lot, I'll do a uh, Hopefully, if I can get out afterwards, I'll do a, a bit of a uh, a chat about it. But as I say, first job, let's get it home.
wonderful.